Good morning. It's day two of The Artist's Way, and we only have a page and a half to read today. Uh, page Part of page 12 and then page 13. Um, I know that most of you are much busy. Well, I'm busy too. I'm just not busy in the same way that a lot of you are. And I want to say something today. <clears throat> if you can't write your morning pages early in the morning, that doesn't mean you get off the hook. Write them as soon as you can. I was just thinking today about the days when I had three children, and much of that time I was a single parent. In fact, I had a three-month-old baby and two teenagers when I became a single parent. I had to get everybody fed, uh, clothe, dress one child, baby, dress myself and be at work by 7.45. Do you think I could have written morning pages and done all that? No. And I know that some of you are in similar straits and even worse. That I, if nothing else, we have to be real about what we can do. It doesn't mean skip it all together. It just means do it when you can. And 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 that's kind of what we're re what we're talking about today. The difference in logic brain an artist brain. Logic brain, brain makes rules. You write morning pages first thing in the morning when you wake up, right after you take your thyroid medicine, if you're like me and need to do that. Or maybe before, I don't know, but do it first thing, period. Artist brain says do it when you can, and that's just fine. Because logic brain tends to shoot itself in the foot by making these restrictions and these rules. I am artist brain. I, I've been artist brain all my life. All my life I've loved color. I've loved, uh, I've loved rainbows and flowers and whippoorwills and rain and, on a tin roof. I've loved, I loved Christmas tree lights in my picture window all my life. No one said to me, thou shalt be more sensitive. I was sensitive. So I do the artist's way for different reasons than some people do. For me, it it's the, the problem with artist brain, and, and you're going to, because that's what I am, of course, that's what I prefer, is that we get our feelings hurt very easily, or we we get discouraged, or we we overreact to criticism, uh, and so we go. We're like turtles, and we dart back into our shells periodically. We're artists all along, but we dart into our shell and hide until we feel like it's safe again to come back out. Morning pages are good for wounded creatives who are hiding in a shell because it coaxes them to feel safe and to come back out in, by intervals. The other person, the logic brain, uh, they don't react that much to much of anything. They don't get their feelings hurt very much. They don't feel that much. Uh, but the artist's brain makes the art, writes the books, does... Uh, uh, it sees brains in, in, it sees the world with rosy sunshades. The logic, so for the logic brain, does that mean that people who have logic brains can't write picture books? Not really. It means that they may have to hone their creative skills or creative spirits a little bit, and morning pages helps those people to to become more aware to it it, it 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 helps them find that creative softer side of themselves I don't need that what I need is to be feel safe again I, I write I write morning pages to help me feel safe the logical person uh, needs the 
to, to it, 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 why all this logic brain artist brain talk? Because the morning pages teach logic brain to stand aside and let artist brain play. Artist brain loves to play. I still love to play. I've always loved to play. In fact, I want to tell you a true story that happened to me today. Uh, okay, that's basically all that says right there. You can read it. But it does say that the censor, we talked about the censor yesterday. The censor is the one that criticizes and jabs us every time we try to do something creative. That's logic brain. Uh, logic brain is, it's, 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 the, it's the brain that needs a great deal of safety. Uh, it is, it's, uh, it, she makes the point that in primitive times, it was the, the logic, the logic within a person that determined when it was safe to go out into the meadow, uh, the bunnies and, and Bambi, Bambi needed logic brain to keep him out of the meadow. Uh, and he didn't have, he was artist brain. But but logic brain is, is this firm grip that, that, that protects. But artist brain is the one who, who does meander out and, they, uh, and they, they observe and they make art of what they see. So, uh, but it, this is, this is, this, this point, this on the bottom of page 13, this is where I really, I really get this because I see this in people that I know. Any original thought that can look pretty dangerous to our sensor is, it's, it repels the logical brain. They don't, they don't like people who are are frisky and free and 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 are they are able to make write poetry and make free associations because uh because they don't understand it and and it the logic brain wants to see the same thing it's seen a thousand times and and I see this in this community and I'm not going to go into great detail but a lot of people here have only had one artist here for a long time, and they they are caught they they are accustomed to that person's art, and they think she is the most wonderful. And there can't be another one because we already have that one. And if your art doesn't look like that person's art, it's no good at all. They want to see the same thing they've seen over and over again: safe paintings, no exploratory blurts. Squiggles or jottings. Listen to your sensor and we'll tell you that everything original is wrong, dangerous, rotten. I've dealt with that all my life because I've always been the person who 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 was playful and could come up with creative I'm I'm more creative than I am probably an artist. An art is a technique. Creativity is a mindset. So anyway, so that's what I want to say about that. But, but but morning pages, believe it or not, are sort of a logical thing to me. They're, they they tell me that I have to write three pages. Three pages. Period. Well, that's logic brain. I don't like that. I don't like somebody making this many rules for me. So I discovered something today or yesterday morning. When I went out yesterday morning, I I, I started to write my, my morning pages and I didn't, couldn't find an ink pen. I have every art pen in the world in my house. I have every paintbrush, every color of paint, every kind of paint. I have fabric, textile art stuff. But I couldn't find an ink pen anywhere. Hopefully, I wasn't going to have to write a check because I couldn't find an ink pen. And let me let me insert something. For your morning pages, I suggest you write with an ink pen because if you write with a pencil, what are you going to do? You're going to write, Today is 
today, no, 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 no. Today is A. No. It is not today. You're constantly racing and changing. Well, that's not stream of consciousness. Stream of consciousness, you start riding and you ride and you ride and you ride and you ride and you nothing stops. If you write, if you don't spell, you know how to spell something, don't look it up and spell check. Don't be, you're not on your computer. You're writing longhand. So if you want to, if you need to spell it wrong, spell it, sound it out. Write flub, F L. O B B B flub. No, that's not right, but you'll figure it out when you go back later. You don't edit things until you finish it. But anyway, let me show you what I found. I did not find the ink pen yet, but I found these wonderful Uniball I pens, and I've had them forever. So that that tell that tell that I don't use them because they're not really great for art. They're great writing pens, but they're all different colors. Well, I am artist brain. I love color. I don't like rules, but I do love color. Color. Color is a thing that makes, wants me, it says to me, come out and play, come out and play. It's colorful out here. So I, it occurred to me that other people might look at uh, morning pages the same way that I did and think it's just totally a rigid activity. And if you get a, this is Uniball Eye, it's on my website for the for today's post. But they're all different, there's a set of 10, you can order it from uh, Amazon, I think the, the set of 10 was $13, but I've had these for a long time, but I've lost them, so I've ordered myself a new set. But you can, you can write your purple thoughts, and then you can say, what is purple? That can be a whole deal. What is pink? You can write pink things. You 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 may need to be mad for a while, and you may and my red's on the floor. I just dropped it. You may need to write red because I'm mad about this. I don't like this. And there, there's uh, your early the f first years, first weeks of your morning pages. There's gonna be a lot of red thoughts, so you need might need to write them in red. So. So when you come back later, you'll be easy, you'll easily identify your angry your angry spurts. But that's just a a thought about how you might make the task of writing morning pages more appealing to yourself if you are artist brain like I am. Okay, have a great day. Write your three pages. Read a page and a half, write three pages, and that'll be a wonderful day for you.